Are you tired of the default Kovacs colors? Do you want an aesthetically pleasing color palette? Do you like modifying game files? Lucky for you, there is a way to customize the Kovacs menu colors. Let's do it. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Blade. And today, I'll be showing you guys how to edit the menu colors for Kovacs FPS Aim Trainer. First off, you need to go to the website, palatin.com. I'll leave a link down in the description below. This is where you'll be creating your color scheme for Kovacs. There are 5 options given for the color wheel settings, and you can add a complementary color. Dragging around the group of circles will change the colors. You can use the color wheel to completely customize your colors, but I prefer to use the randomize button. When you click on randomize, 4 of these preferences will show up. You can mess around with these until you find a color palette that you like, or as I said earlier, if you prefer complete customization, use the color wheel. I'm just going to keep randomizing until I find something that I like. After you found the group of colors that you like, click on tables slash export. A small window will pop up showing your color palette. What we need is the hex code, which are these number and letter combinations. Each color's hex code is shown under its rectangle, as well as some other forms of color that we don't need. Clicking on color swatches on the right side of the menu will remove all the other text that we don't need so it will be easier for us to choose which color we want to use. Next, open up your Steam library. Right click on Kovacs FPS Aim Trainer. Select Properties and go to the Local Files tab. Click Browse Local Files. This will open up your Kovacs installation folder. Now we'll have to go through some files. Double click FPS Aim Trainer. Open Saved. And lastly, open up Save Games. Once you're here, look for a file called palette.ini. Copy and paste this somewhere safe, as this will be your backup in case you messed up. After you've made a backup, open palette.ini with a text editor. I'll be using Notepad++, which is like an upgraded version of Notepad, but you can stick to regular Notepad. The text document shows every hex code for the game's user interface. You don't have to modify every single color, and some of the labels aren't very clear on what they do. For some of these, you will see the abbreviation BG, which stands for background. An example will be menu BG, which stands for menu background. To change the color, just replace the current hex code with one from your color palette. Some of the default hex codes will have some extra things at the end of them, which is their opacity. Opacity is how transparent the color will be. I recommend not changing the opacity unless you really know what you're doing. If you want to change one of the colors that has these opacity settings, just replace the first 6 characters and leave the opacity alone. To see the colors in game, save the text file and open up Kobex. I'm not going to go over every color label since that would take forever. The main ones that you will probably see the most are menu background, menu header background, button normal, button hovered, confirm normal, confirm hovered, cancel normal, cancel hovered, quit normal, and quit hovered. Now I'm going to change my colors. I'll speed up the process and I'll see you guys when I'm done.
I'm back, and as you can see, my Kovex menu is looking aesthetic. This about wraps up the tutorial. A mistake I did a lot when I first tried this was forgetting to save the text file. So make sure to save it to see your colors in game. Anyways, leave a like if you found this video helpful, and more importantly, hit that red button to subscribe. I've also started streaming on YouTube, so ring the notification bell so you know whenever I live or when I upload a new video. Comment down below if you have any questions or issues. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.